the travels of the world. I hope you are having a great day. Today I would like to take you through our trip to Everglades National Park in Florida. And as you can see, um, our trip started. Well, I had to film this. It was just amazing. Uh, the way we were stopped on the motorway traveling from Kennedy Space Center to Everglades. First stopping, of course, in Palm Beach. Um, and on this motorway, <laughs> we were stopped by this um, fire, which was probably some... 20 meters away from the uh, motorway and what the police did uh, they decided to stop the traffic so uh, we had to wait some 90 minutes two hours in the traffic uh, but of course they couldn't get deal with this because I think it was some at the shop or something like that and amazingly the road near us was not closed so everyone was wondering why do we have to stop here when everything was still safe and you know what 90 minutes later it was uh, still the same situation and they decided to let everyone pass as they stopped the traffic for miles. I mean was this really necessary? I mean come on guys use your logic. Anyway so there we are reaching Everglades National Park. So driving uh, going west from near Miami and uh, there are lots of places where you can stop to um, you know take a tour in these organized uh, areas I think we counted some six to eight maybe even more nine places where you can stop pay the entrance fee and then take tours what we decided to do is to go to the Everglades uh, Shark uh, Valley and take a trolley. I was staying on the right hand side of the trolley so you know what on that early April day I caught my right hand burned and it is until now much darker than the left hand which was inside in the trolley. So this is an open trolley and you can clearly see everything around you and I think it had two or three cars each car probably having some uh, 16 to 20 people so I highly recommend this to everyone now why Everglades is because you find this huge uh, uh, variety of amphibians they have got frogs toads and other species of amphibians that live in the park you have got lots of birds which are just amazing uh, fish which are in the water uh, and we were there when it wasn't quite the dry it was well before the rainy season there are also insects spiders centipedes millipedes which are just amazing also mammals and reptiles now about the mammals living in the park they have got 40 species of uh, mammals and uh, you'll not see them around that much there are raccoons uh, or possums are common creatures to most habitats and uh, there are also there is gray fox uh, there is uh, white tailed a deer uh, and the, li uh, the list continues. Reptiles, well this is what you'll see the most around you because you'll see lots of alligators and near us we saw lots of baby alligators but there are 50 distinct kind of uh, reptiles they say and you have got the American alligator the uh, American crocodile they say they have got uh, the green anole <laughs> the night anole the broad anole they have got eastern indigo snake and corn snake yellow rat snake everglades rat snake my gosh the list is just huge 
Of course, they have got turtles and tortoises like Florida soft shell, green turtle, Atlantic leatherback, Atlantic hawksbill, <laughs> Atlantic ridley. So lots of animals and mammals to see. Uh, for us, as I said, it was very, very interesting and I placed myself on the right hand side but there are even a lot of alligators to see on the left hand side of the trolley. So I saw only baby alligators, as you can see is rather dry and at some point we reached a higher ground area as you saw there which has a great view over the park and uh, the pond near us with a lot of birds. So yes, I highly recommend this place to visit. You can go by trolley as you can as we have done ourselves or you can rent bikes uh, as you saw us passing some people or even people are walking. It is rather dangerous so you have to always pay attention to the noises around you because could be a bigger alligator which is not scared by you and he's standing right on your path. Uh, but a trolley would scare him, so we'll make him move. Uh, there are also lots of snakes that there could be near you, so you have to be very, very careful there. And the tour guide told us lots of horror stories that happened in the previous decade. So, hoping that this was of great help to you and you enjoyed all this. Uh, well, thank you for watching and have a very nice day. Keep in touch with me. Check. Uh, the uh, information I put after this video and where I wrote my reviews, so the links there. So thank you for watching, have a nice day, bye!